yeah, you want some of this, don't you? You want the steak. I know you do. I know you want to eat some adult cow. Come on, you want it, don't you? Oh, oh. Nom, 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 nom. Howdy out over here. Welcome back to another Cornerstone, episode 30. I got it wrong last time. I thought, I thought it was episode 30 and then the next episode was episode 31, but it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of Q&A for episode 31, which is kind of good because, again, I'll be going off to a family holiday, so uh, the questions will help at least get rid of some of like, the episode. Well, not get rid, but provide some entertainment for some of the episode, which I don't really have much time for. But... Yeah, welcome back to another cornerstone. A uh, few things I want to do. Actually, instead of the caving, I want to go fix up the village, make it a little, I don't know, look a little better. Like, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. But first of all, I want to show you... Oh, oh shut up, cows. No, you're not hostile. You're not hostile, cows. Um, first of all, I want to show you Luke's humble abode. So, that little hut over there, um, when it was originally built, it was... Um, Pat Games' build, and then over here, this is Luke's humble abode, which I asked him to build, and if you want to go check out the episode, I think I'll put a link in the description, remind me if I forget, or I won't be able to do much when I'm on holiday. Um, he left this sign, hey Torbray, finish the roof for me, thanks Luke, and then on the inside, it looks really nice, it's got a common fridge, like so, it looks really good. Oh, it's got oh, it's got cooked chicken because we've got the cooked chicken thing. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And then it's got all of these, and it's got some supplies in here. Really cool. All of these are my supplies, by the way. Um, I think apart from that block of quartz. No, it might be mine. I don't know. Um, yeah, coal in there, and then this cauldron with a sink, which looks really nice. And then chair. Looks like a lot of effort was put into it, so. I really want to thank Luke for that. I mean, he's got a roof and everything's like log on the outside. I think it's a really nice contrast to everything out like different to the village. Um, like this is log, and then everything else is like that. It sort of like distinguishes the different builds. So might try and distinguish that one to the other ones as well. Hmm. But yeah, I really like it. Thank you very much, Luke or General Tuber Gaming. And you can check out the link to the description down below if I remember. Um, also, over here, let's just zoom along here, Ooh. this is the build we had from last time, I've done a little bit more work, um, I put a window up here, looks, I really like it, got all of that, some bushes, and then added some windows, really cool design, I'm really liking it, and I really want to put this sort of design in every other house, because I think it just looks amazing, and I, I'm really proud of this build, really. Mmm. It looks really good. I mean, the inside is basically the same, I think, as last time. Where we've got all of this. And this will be, like, the chemistry area, I think. Yeah, and we might have a villager over there. I mean, that's a crafting table. And then we'll have a basement where we brew our potions. So that's that. I really like that a lot. Don't even use that. Why is it on? Well, there was one other thing. Um, over here. The horses and donkey were released. Oh, I brought that guy back. They were released because, like, golems and villagers kept walking over these pressure plates. So we're going to be fixing that today. We're going to be doing general maintenance. Uh, for example, we're going to be doing general maintenance on general house. <laughs> yes, I integrated it very easily. Hey. Recording. Um, so we're going to put a path along here. What else? I want to put some sand along this little river along here. And also want to fix up that hole down there. I just want to do some general maintenance and then also try and make these actually look kind of nice rather than the plain as it is. And possibly even build another house along here. Like, I've got some plots along here, here, and then two more along there. So we're slowly building these villager houses, but slowly and surely. Alright, let's begin with the question of the day. I don't know. Not question of the day. Why was it? <laughs> no, it's not question of the day. Alright, I'm going to be doing a lot of this uh, while we do this. I think it's a good time to do it. Right, so I've got how many questions? I've got six questions I can answer. And they were a combination from the subreddit. 
I probably should get some dirt. Subreddit, Twitter, and YouTube. So if you left a comment on any of them, then good job. Thank you very much. If you didn't, man, you guys suck. No, kidding. All right, let's get some dirt over here. Let's answer the first question. This is from the Cornerstone subreddit. This is from Ground Edge. Oh, he's got, he's got a flower. Scott, it's got a flower. Uh, this is from Ground Edge NV. He says, "What people IRL influence you in real life?" If you guys don't know the term, um, people in real life who influence me. I I never considered in any of these, by the way before and I, I think that improvisation is a very good way to answer questions. What people in real life inspire me? I don't know... Uh, the guys like the people from Ranks of Riches I really admire like their determination to go through those events without stopping like uh, there was a guy in... What? It wasn't Slumdog Millionaire. No. Um, it was the one with Will Smith in it. Uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah, that one is really good. So, that guy I really like. Um, I personally also like the people who... What's it? I really like the people who choose moral morality over... Morality over, like, the easy choice. Or, like, the choice which is better for them. So, I don't know about people in real life, but I know people like YouTubers inspire me, like Vix. Uh, he d he says that asking for likes is would be good for his channel, but he chooses not. What are you doing, Donkey? Chooses uh, chooses not to ask for likes, even though he probably should. And yeah, those guys really inspire me. I can't really think of anyone at the moment. Huh? Hey, that works. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Oh, that's a pain. Huh. How are we going to do this? Uh, anyone else who inspires me? Hmm. Can't really think of anyone. No, 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 no. Bad donkey. Can't really think of anyone else. Can't, no, can't really think of anyone. Uh, I've got, like, role models. Ooh, no, there was one. Ah, I'm going to have to think of it later. I might put it in the comments. If I do think of it later, but that's my answer. Let's put that like that, and then that like that, and then leave it there, I guess. Oh, well, that work. That should work. Oh, right, because it's not pointing in. Oh, I suck at bits in. No, not really. Oh, high standards. Anyway, let's go with the Twitter question from Light Fever. He asks, if you were a gummy bear, what colour would you be? I love gummy bears, guys. They are amazing. Um, I'd be orange, because orange is my favourite colour. And you can see that on my channel banner. Like, it's based on orange. I asked specifically that it be based on orange. Um, but orange is also like a really flavorous colour, so I'd like to be orange. I'm not sure whether I'd be orange or not. Would I be orange? How do I explain? I mean, how do you justify being an artist? Well, oh god, I don't know that. Um, probably be orange because I'm all crazy and zip zap and nothing you expect. I mean, orange sometimes is sweet, sometimes is citrusy. It's never like one regular col uh, one regular flavor. Hmm. All right, let's. I'm gonna do some work on those houses. I'm gonna put this stuff away, and I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Um, yeah. The uh, question from Light Fever continues. Um, which colour flavour represents your personality and why? Oh, right, that was the same thing. I, yeah, I again, I'm thinking orange. Because it's vivacious, it's bright, and it's completely unexpected. And I try to make my life as unexpected as possible. Oh, surprising as possible because every day should be a new challenge. Otherwise, you're just living a boring life. Well, that's my opinion anyway. Hmm, what do we want for this one? I want to make this cobblestone. Hmm. Let's get the cobblestone and steer it. Something like that, perhaps. And then... Boop. Uh, no, I don't really like that. 
what about the other way? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can mo move the window one bit higher. Boop. All right. And why? Yeah, I explained. Thank you very much, Light Feather and Round Edge for well, Nick Vegas, for your questions. Um, let's go to the next Twitter question from General Tuber. What do you want to do after university? Um, I want to do economics because I find economics a lot more interesting than any sciencey career. Um, it's all about the economic integration and how the economy is doing, and it sounds all like. Yeah, sometimes, but I I really like it. Oh no, that's not gonna work. That's such a pain. Oh, I read one of the comments from Crux Workshop. It's like, oh, it's such a pain. It's like, <laughs> dang it, I didn't even notice. Um, yeah, I want to do economics. I want to, or I want to go into property. There's a university in Auckland in New Zealand. Oh no, let's leave it alone. There's a thing in Auckland. A uh, degree in Auckland called the uh, Bachelor of Property. I'm not sure whether you guys have it, but it's the only one offered in the NZ apparently. So I'm thinking about that one. I think that one would be pretty cool. How do we... Let's... I don't know. Let's start by adding these. Why can't I click that? Whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the ending. Oh, no, I didn't want to get rid of that log. Boop. And the other one is, what is your favourite video you've ever put to your channel? That's a tricky one. It's not a, it's probably not a regular series. In all honesty, I like these special ones, the ones with like collabs as well. I mean, if I had to pick a favourite series, it would be Skyblock, of course. It's so great trying to push myself to do all of that. By the way, I'm going to pre-record Skyblock after this as well. So look forward to that one after this episode. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Trying to be all detailed here, but not really working. Uh, let's leave it. We're going to experiment with it. Uh... Uh, this is like modern art. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Uh, favorite video. Ah, oh, that's tricky as well. Huh. I'm gonna. It's gonna either have to be a quick place blocks. Because quick place blocks are so much fun. Um, just hanging out with like people I don't usually hang out with, like the guys from Britain, like Carl, Crazy Man, and Sparks. All of them, like I barely hang out with because, like, we live halfway across the world, so I need to get up early in order to collab with them, or they need to stay up late, or it's the vice versa, or and. Probably gonna have to be quick place blocks number one because it was like first time meeting Accidental Games and Nick Vegas, both who secured my future on Cornerstone and as a YouTuber. Um, yeah. Also, it was like really nerve wracking for me. I couldn't tell Nick Vegas and Crazy Man apart. They, they sort of have. Uh, once you get to know them, their, their voices, like the accents, are completely different, but their voices are kind of the same. So I couldn't really tell them apart. I could tell Spikes apart, like he has a high voice, but I couldn't tell those guys apart, and it was kind of funny and irritating at the same time. So that was a lot of fun. What do I want to do with this one? I want to try to get rid of this wall over here. I don't want one of those windows over here either. So I don't know, something like that. At least that breaks it up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. It's so dark in here. We're gonna have a mob spawn in there one day. Um, and then from YouTube, Magic Man 444. <laughs> Magic Man 444. Oh, we've done this one. I really like that one. How's this one going? 
Ooh, could put some stairs behind here. It looks so blank with only full blocks. Magic Man says... Oh, this guy's from Casecraft as well. One of Luke's friends. Um, what is your recording schedule like? Are you a record the night before kind of guy, or record a lot at once and split it up? I'm the guy who does both, in the sense that... I think Minecraft should always be fresh, because other people are always releasing their stuff... Uh, earlier than me as well and I always want to keep people up to date with what's going on with like the let's play how is everything stacking up what's being built um, also like what people were doing as well I want to keep up to date and Skyblock is always a record the night before because I want to get all of oh which one am I trying to address which one was it Oh no, it's not the stables. Let's, I guess we'll do this one. Do, 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 do. Oh man. Um, yeah, Skyblock, I want to listen, uh, get all of your comments before we get on. Like, do all the questions of the day because I don't really want to do it later on. I want it fresh in my mind. Um, and then the other one. Oh, like, seriously, like, I'm right now doing. I'm doing Game of Four. And the plugins are so cool, by the way. And they're actually available for release, which was what Sparks told me. He's like, actually, the Game Mode 4 plugins are public, so you can actually refer people to them, so I will. You can go check them out. Um, I do record Game Mode 4, Spore, and Pokemon not the night before. I record those in chunks because I feel like I get more free time, plus... I can record it all at once, and I don't really want to stop recording them. So it's of benefit to me. Anyway, no, we better keep that a solid block. Do do do, and then end bell. Boop. But spore, I've been recording in blocks, and that's been great. Um. So. I've been I've recorded up to episode six. I think episode four's just been released yesterday, if I can remember. Yeah, probably. So I've got it all pre-recorded up to episode six. So I've got enough upload for another week, and then I'll probably upload, uh, start recording some more, which I love doing in one-hour blocks. It's so much fun, Spore. It's been so long since I've done it. But thank you guys for your questions. Not as many as to like take up the entire episode, which I kind of like. Which means that we can actually do stuff. No, 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 not that one. Not right next to the half. It's that. Ha. Ah, the pains. Such a pain. That one's for you, Crux. Um, let's do that. Come on, come on. There we go. But, yep, yeah, yep. I'm going to do a little bit more work and then I'll probably call it here because I've got some more stuff to record. I'm going to do some off work camera work. Oh, might build another house. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I did the path over here to Luke's little humble abode. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks all used and looks all rotten. I'm waiting for those buttons. I think they look like really cool rocks, but oh, right, yeah. We forgot to do the, uh, la, la. We forgot to do the roof for Luke, so give me one second and I'll go finish it. Your roof I diff a nice guy. Love Tabre. <laughs> this is Luke's place at spawn. Uh yeah. It's definitely finished. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Hey, how's it going? You came to admire it? Oh no, I won't kill you. You wanna admire it? You want to admire it? Oh, you don't want to admire it. Oh, that's a shame. Well, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'll be back um, American Monday. Uh, no, I'll be back American Sunday. British Sunday slash Monday. <laughs> Time zones. Um, but I will have uploads for up to Tuesday. So I can have some... Because I'll have spore for Tuesday. Well... Monday, American and British Monday slash Tuesday, whatever. Um, I'll be back 
soon, and I'll see you guys then, but until the sun dawns, cheers for watching dudes, see you next time.